Okay, boys and girls, I wanted to go over the problems from the topic 7-5 uh, daily review that I gave you guys. I, I looked at quite a few of them. I graded the ones that were submitted, and I noticed that there was a little bit of confusion with some of them, um, with some of the questions. Um, and I know we haven't been in the classroom for a while, so... A lot of the routines or a lot of the, the strategies that we use to solve the problems you may have forgotten. Um, so we're going to go over that again. And I'm going to show you what the correct solutions are for each question. So the first one that we're going to look at is a radio station plays nine commercials every hour. How many commercials are played in eight hours? So... In order to solve the problem, we always, always, always want to look at what the question is asking you and what you understand and even trying to figure out what you don't understand. So looking at this, we want to always do cubes first. So cubes, we're going to circle the important numbers. You, we're going to underline the question. And B, we're going to box any math action words. So we know it's asking us how many. We're going to box that. And we know that it's every, even though this isn't a math action word per se, we know that every hour, we know that every, we're kind of, uh, it's more than once. All right, so. Now we're going to look at what we know. Okay, so we did cubes. We're going to look at what we know. This will fix itself. You guys know it always does that in the classroom. So what do we know? That's the first question we ask ourselves. What do we know? We know that a radio station plays nine commercials every hour. So we know that. So if we know that a radio station plays nine commercials every hour, then that means every hour means once an hour. Okay, so for each hour, that's one commercial. Okay, so we know for each hour, that's one commercial. The other thing that we know is that the commercials, what they're, what the other thing that we know is that we're trying to find out how many are played in eight hours. So the question is, what we need to find out what do we need to find out? We need to find out how many are played in, in eight hours. So we, we looked at what we know that's going to help us. And now we're going to look at what we need to find. So putting these two together, we know that if nine commercials play for every hour, and I'm gonna do this a little bit differently, just to kind of help you guys see how you can go about the sol uh, solving the problem if you don't understand. So we know that there's eight hours. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight hours. For each hour, 
For each hour, nine commercials are being played. So nine commercials are being played here. Nine commercials are being played in the second hour. Nine commercials are being played in the third hour. Nine commercials are being played in the fourth hour. Nine commercials are being played in the fifth hour. Nine commercials are being played in the sixth hour. Nine commercials are being played in the seventh hour. And nine commercials are being played in the eighth hour. So para cada hora, se va a ver nueve comerciales. So para el primer comercial, se ve nueve horas. I mean, para el primer hora, se ve nueve comerciales. Para la segunda hora, se ven nueve comerciales. Y vamos a repetir eso hasta los ocho horas. La, los ocho horas. So, what is this? What, what will we do? We could use repeated addition. We could add nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. Plus nine, plus nine. That's one way that we can solve it. We can add it repeatedly. Or we could do something else that's faster. You guys know what that is. Correct. You can do multiplication. So you can do nine because this is how many commercials are played every hour, each hour times eight because we're trying to figure out how many commercials are played for eight hours. And nine times eight equals 72. So that means 72 commercials and I want you guys to make it a point to always write your responses uh, in full sentences. Don't just show your work. Always write out what the answer is. So the radio station played 72 commercials in eight hours. Let me bring that down. So that's my response. To this question. I'm just going to leave this on the screen for you for one second. Let me see. I'm going to leave this on the screen for you for one second so you guys can look it over. So that's question number one. Now we're going to go over question number two. I'm going to clear the page. Maybe I'll do a screenshot of it and attach it to the, um, the post that I put for you guys. So let's clear the page and let's look at the second question. All right, we are going to do the same thing. Remember guys, Ms. Fisher and I emphasize that if you don't know or understand what the problem is saying the first time, always do a three read, always read it three times. And if you need to read it more than three times, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to worry. You read it as many times as you need to so that you can understand what the problem is asking you. You can pick it apart, take it apart. Remember to ask yourself the same questions. What do I know? So what do we know? We're going to say we because we're doing it together. What do we know? Um, before that, I want to make sure that we do cubes. So Lewis has $26 to spend at the fair. $26 is the total amount of money that he has. He spends $8 on food and the rest of his money on games. If the games cost $2 each, how many games did he play? So we're doing cubes. We're going to circle the important numbers. $26, $8, $2. Then we're going to underline the question, which is if the games cost $2 each, how many games did he play? We're going to box the math action words, which is how many and each. All right. And then we're going to 
Eliminate anything unnecessary, but for this problem, every, all the information is pretty necessary. There's nothing there that's given to us as extra information to confuse us. So we're going to leave it as is, and now we're going to work on S, which is solve. So what do we know? Let's look at what we know. We know... Let me change the color. Uh, maybe not that color. Let's try something a little bit darker. Let's do pink. We know that Lewis spent... Actually, the first thing we know is that we know that Lewis has $26. That's the first thing that we know. Okay, that's his, that, that's his total amount of money, right? So we know he has $26. The other thing that we know is that he spent $8 on food. So we know that he spent $8 of the $26 on food. What else do we know? Correct. We know the games cost $2 to play. And we also know that he used the rest of his money on games. So that means that he used the money that was left over. After buying food. So after buying his food, he used the change, he used the extra money left over to play games. So this is a lot of information that can help us. All we have to do is sort through it. So doing it step by step, we're going to look at the fact that Lewis has $26 to spend on the fair. This is what he starts with. $26 is what he begins with. That's his total amount of money. He spent $8, so we know this. He spent $8 on food of that $26. So we know that we need to take eight from 26. You can't subtract eight from six. So you're gonna regroup. This turns into one, 16. Take away eight is eight. And we're going to bring down the one. So he has $18 left after buying the food. After purchasing his food, now he has $18 left. This is what he spent on food. This is where he spent on food. Okay, let me see if I can get this nice and neat. And this was his total amount of money. I'm going to just put a dollar sign just to not take up so much space and just to be a little bit faster. All right, so that was his total amount of money. How much was spent on food was $8 and $18 is what he had left.